is seductive. She is passionate. She is possessive. She is pure, evil. She is Christine, a 1958 Plymouth Fury, possessed by hell. Her previous owner is not alive to warn her present one. Once she lures you behind the wheel, you will be hers, body and soul. There is no place you can hide, no place you can run, and nothing you can do can stop her. Because how do you kill something that can't possibly be alive? Christine, body by Plymouth, soul by Satan. There is a passageway to the most evil place you can imagine, a gate behind which the demons wait to take back what was once theirs. And now, someone has opened the gate. Now this is weird, tearing sound. There is the decomposed corpse of her dead father. Oh no. So no. He's tearing oh, out oh, air oh, by the hands. Oh, oh, oh. I'm calling the police. Oh, no. You got demons. favorite novelist and master of modern horror has written his first motion picture screenplay. It combines all the elements of his creative imagination. <laughs> Lovable pets. Classic cars. Quiet evenings. Favorite films. Kill the son of a... <laughs> Good idea. Adorable kids. And, of course, a monster or two. Experience a series of electrifying adventures as seen through Stephen King's Cat's Eyes. I brought you here to bury Alan's cat. Daddy, is Church all right? Why, Judd? I have more reasons. I dreamed he got hit by a car and you and Mr. Crandall buried him in the pet cemetery. What did we do tonight, Judd? What we did, Lois, was a secret. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Has anyone ever buried a person up there? May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. You're thinking thoughts best not thought of. Something really bad. You're thinking of putting him up there. Don't deny the thought hadn't crossed your mind. Come back to me, Gage. Come back to us. Paramount Pictures presents. <laughs> 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 
Stephen King's all-time best-selling tale of horror. <laughs> Pet Cemetery. Everyone has a birthday they'll always remember. Can we open my presents now, Mommy? A good guy! I knew it! Hi, <laughs> I'm Chucky. He's something, isn't he? This is Andy's. Time for bed, Andy. Good night, baby. Good night, Aunt Maggie. Good night, Chucky. Everyone knows most accidents happen at home. How did that happen? This is no accident. Andy! I'm Detective Mike Norris. Homicide. Andy! Miss Peterson's dead, Miss Barclay. She fell from the kitchen window. Someone's moved in with the Barclay family. And so has terror. Mommy, I know who was on the counter. Andy! Andy. Who, Andy? Chucky. Nobody believes you about Chucky. My hand, I, I, I... Oh, for God's sake. Why won't you believe me? Because I'm sane. This is Barkley. Sane and rational. No one believes the truth. <laughs> or lives to tell it. There's nothing nice about murder. <laughs> and there's nothing innocent. about child's play. John Carpenter's The Fog. This is KB Antonio Bay. Stevie Wayne here. And let me be the first to wish Antonio Bay a happy birthday. We're 100 years old today. And keep a watch out for that fog bank. Heading in from the east. One hundred years ago, between midnight and one, something unknown came out of the fog. Now it has returned. Oh, Jesus. One hundred years ago, between midnight and one, something unnatural came out of the fog. Now it has returned. Years ago, between midnight and one, something evil came out of the fog. Now it has returned. Who's there? The fog. Antonio Bay has a curse on it. We're all cursed. There's no water getting here, but something off a cold pit. I think I'll go to Vancouver now. Where's the fog now? Well, it should be right outside my door now. Oh, there's something different about this fog. Dan, stay away from the door! Someone listen to me! Get inside and lock your doors. Close your windows. There's something in the fog. away from the fog. <laughs> from the creator of Halloween, the ultimate experience in terror and suspense. <laughs> John Carpenter's The Fog, starring Adrian Barbeau, Jamie Lee Curtis, John Houseman, Janet Lee as Kathy Williams, and Hal Holbrook as Father Malone. The Fog. What you can't see won't hurt you. It will kill you. Between midnight and one, it will find you. Michael and Sam have just moved to Santa Carla, California. They're about to discover its secret. 
notice anything unusual about Santa Carla yet? No. It's a pretty cool place. If you're a Martian. Or a vampire. <laughs> ready to do battle. Looking down there is killing people. And if it's monsters, nobody's gonna do a thing about it but us. Soon the creatures of the night show the world. Real monsters? Uh, us? Midnight in the world, remember? Maybe if we can be like Mascot and Stingy, you know, two mask bombs. By midnight, you guys. they won't seem so young anymore. The Monster Squad. Wolfman's got me. Billy Pelser has a nice home. Yeah, Mom, it's me. A nice job. A nice girl. If you're not doing anything this Thursday night, maybe you'd like to uh, go out on a date with me? I'd love to. And loving parents who are about to give him... You're gonna like this. No, 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 don't shake it. We're gonna have to open it now. It won't wait till Christmas. The most unusual gift <laughs> he ever got. What is it? No. It's your new pet. Come on, Barney, be a good dog. My dad gave it to me. But there are a few things to keep in mind. If you expose it to the light, you may hurt it. If you get it wet, it will multiply. All that from water? They got wet? Yeah, plain water. And most important, no matter how much they beg, never, never let them eat after midnight. Because when they do, they change. Rafe. They become clever, <laughs> mischievous. What's going on here? And dangerous. Gremlins, huh? Little monsters. Right. Hundreds of them. Well, I, I don't know, maybe thousands. They've been here too. Billy, what are these things? Where do they come from? Look, I know it sounds crazy, I know. But in a few hours, you're gonna have a major disaster on your hands. Gremlins, directed by Joe Dante. They'll be expecting you. The house looks just like the one next to it. And the one next to that. And the one next to that. A young couple live in it. Give Ken a kiss. <laughs> you are so unlucky. With their three children. Ah. 
And something more. Maybe you had experienced any disturbances lately. What kind of disturbances? I don't know what hovers over this house. is a frightening new threshold into a world within our own. Its form is revealed. What is it? Its focus is clear. And the games are over. It knows what scares you.